Hi, it's Tricia from East Marsh Shakers, and today we're doing working on the meat chicken tractor. Um, <clears throat> so today's um, attempt is to um, put the rods that uh, Roland bent and put them um, up and over across here like across the uh, the width of it and then we put chicken wire over top and the um, tarp so basically they're going to go like that we're going to um, yeah screw them in there and go across that way here's a little update on the chickens themselves they're a little over a week old. As you can see, they have really grown. So um, turn down the temperature a little bit, raise the, the heat um, thing. Now they're going on top and getting warm that way. Um, water in the middle and feed. They are going through feed <coughs> like crazy. So. Uh, Originally, I had over this bird netting um, uh, over top, and so at the end there, there's a little bit of a gap between the wood and the, the box wood that we had had put, and the netting was pulled through by a chicken and got all caught in there. Had the chicken, that um, netting around its neck and wings as it flopped furiously to get out, so. We basically had to cut it out, but it seems to be, I don't even know which one it is, so no losses so far. So um, we, we, got, uh, we got lucky there, or it got lucky, I don't know. <laughs> we got lucky. <clears throat> Anyways, those are our chickens, chickies, and so back to the uh, build and we'll give you an update when we're done for today's work.
Good morning. It's uh, Roland Venice Marsh Acres. It's the Victoria Day weekend, and we're gonna start yet another um, gardening season. Um, before we get uh, out to the garden, let's take a quick look, give you an update as to what's going on with the meat birds. So here they are, two and a half weeks old. Mm -hmm. And as you can see, they have grown significantly. <clears throat> Say a few words about uh, what you've been doing with them. Yeah, so, um, yeah, we were having to change their little waters like six times a day. So now we put in a larger water for them and it's keeping cleaner, being up off the ground a little bit more. Well, so is the other one, but it's just smaller. So now I don't have to refill all the time maybe once a day but yeah and then yesterday we started to introduce them to greens because then next week they're going to be on the grass so get their digestive system ready for processing greens and it looks like they're getting into it now well, they're touching it more than they were yesterday oh yeah for sure. yeah yesterday was the first time but now they seem to be into it I'm going for the clover so, anyhow yeah and uh but yeah they're they're getting lots of feathers now not quite fully feathered so that's why probably next week is when they can go out but the nights are warmer now i've taken out the heater they don't need that anymore and uh yeah i think that they're they're good to go we do cover them up overnight so there's no drafts or anything like that and then it's dark for them um, how often do you fill the feeder Oh, the feeder now, probably, again, with the water, probably five or six times a day. So, like that, I just filled up to, the feed was, was, um, even to the top. And that was like five minutes ago, and it's already down. So, they, uh, they are going through the feed. So, they've gone through one... Um, they're 50 pound bags, right? I think. Uh, 30, I think. Uh, I don't, I don't think they're 50. It's, by the way, it's in uh, kilograms. I know. That's why I think it's 25 kilograms. Like close to, whatever. Another one here. I don't have my glasses on. Oh, yeah. Uh, 25 kilograms. Oh, okay. So they're almost 50 pounds. Basically, 50 pounds, more than 50, it's 2.2 in, two two, in two, two weeks, two, two and a half weeks. And that will only get more and more. So this was supposed to. Well, we're going to supplement <laughs> it because they're going to be sitting there on, eat, grass. on grass. Yeah. And we're going to move them every day. So the guy said to do the. I've heard three weeks. To five weeks of keeping them on this starter uh, growth so and they've gone through one in two weeks but this is going to rapidly go faster as they get bigger so I'm sure that this will be probably done in four weeks yeah. and uh, so then we'll go on to a, uh, a growth another type of growth one and rather than the starter and then, yeah, and then, then it goes on to, and even if we have some left over, because if we're going to do the meat birds again in the fall, we can use this again too. So <clears throat> I'll probably at four weeks, because I'd like to do four to seven weeks of the growth, and then about s seven or eight weeks, like two weeks of the finisher, whatever they call it. So, um, so we'll see how that plays out. But we'll also be working on... <laughs> This is our messy work table, but we're trying to figure out the last bits for the the um, chicken shop. Yeah, shop. so we're almost done. I have to add the wheels at the back here, yeah. and we're waiting for nuts uh, for the end of the the. Um, I've got them. Okay. So I've got the nuts, and then I'm going to work on the water system and right. the feeding system. So the water system will consist of a bunch of nipples. Like connected a pail. to a pail, 
Um, and uh, it all so connected. kind of like this. This is my prototype, but they'll be connected like so. Then another one will come here, and then they'll all add up and go along the side, and then the water. So then it'll come down. So gravity fed water into these, and at the end we'll have a stopper that will go into the end. So it'll stop the water, and. Uh, yeah, so we. We've so got the only thing that we'll that. need to do is fill up the pail to get the uh, water continuing to flow. Yeah. And we've already got uh, hoses out, so it'll be much easier than yeah, going to the sink on a regular basis. Um, so the, the um, tractor is basically complete except for the wheels that I've talked about before. Uh, we got the cover on. Chicken wire is completely over uh, over the roof and the, the two ends. Um, you you saw previously on the videos the hardware cloth that we put on the bottom, and then on the other side. Well, we'll have to also build a shelf on this. Piece of wood. Oh yeah, put the, put the uh, <coughs> the, put pail. the pail on. And this side is ready to go. Uh, again, we've got uh, hardware cloth, uh, sorry, uh, chicken wire <coughs> at the top, hardware cloth at the bottom, hardware cloth uh, on the door, and uh, the interior, I mean, it looks like it's pretty good shelter in there for them, and uh, the latch works and everything, so basically ready to go. We have to connect um, a, a rope, rope at the front so that we can actually move it along yeah. from one place to the next. And then we're basically ready to go. Um, mm -hmm. Here are the wheels with the bolts on them, and we just need to put the uh, nuts through. Um, these will actually fit into the strapping that uh, has some holes in it, and uh, that strapping will preserve the wood for a little bit uh, while we're actually moving around. Uh, we just take the wheels off after we've moved it. Uh, so it's once a day. Not a huge task. Um, what else is out here? Nothing. I think we're ready to go out to the, gar to the garden. So I'll meet you out there. We'll talk to you soon.